Good morning. Oh, much better. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Mondaf, of course. And I am on the Beto Ertho server. I'm on here alone today. It's a little bit lonely, but I'm back at the house uh, in our gardens. I just wanted to show you this quickly, and then we'll uh, head off and get to work here. Mally updated the wiring, so instead of it running in a circle all the way around, it now opens from both sides at the same time, which is great, because now, even if you're sprinting with the Speed 2 beacon, you can't quite make it to the end. Let me just show you guys here. So if you're just running in, you can barely make it to the end before the chests open. So uh, it makes it much easier. Uh, it was getting really irritating if we needed like stone and we needed to open it and we just like come over here and there's just stairs and you just have to wait for it to go all the way around the room. So it's great to have that rewired. Thank you, Mally, for doing that. And we're off. It occurred to me, as I was working with the last couple episodes, you guys haven't seen the slime farm since, like, episode one. It's been forever, and we have worked on it. So I wanted to show you, just give you a quick update of what the slime farm looks like. Of course, here's the entrance. You've seen that before. And we'll run down here. And there you go. Yep, we finished digging out the whole space. We've designed the wall. We haven't designed the whole curve yet, but we've designed the wall, so we'll repeat that uh, three more times. I like it. I think it looks really cool. Uh, the pads are all done. You can see it's a double chunk, so there's two slime chunks. goes all the way down. This is level 40. goes all the way down to bedrock. Uh, we have the staircase, which of course we need to get rid of yet, but uh, they're all dug out. And we'll need to make these look nice and uh, set up the lighting so the lighting's on top instead of being torches, which reduce the spawn rate. We'll also need to dig out uh, efficiency channels, so we'll need to do that yet. You can see we need to replace a bit of the floor. That was gravel, so it fell through when we dug out the floor below. But it works. Uh, it's plenty efficient. I mean, we haven't stressed about it since um, when it comes to slime balls. We have plenty now <laughs> from building this during... You know, you, like, you go to make a slime farm because you're like, I need tons and tons of slime balls. And then in the process of building the slime farm, you're like, I have more slime balls than I will ever use in my entire playthrough of this, this world and this map and this game. So, you know, why would I bother finishing the slime farm since, you know, I got more slime balls than I ever need? So, yeah. So, yeah, we've kind of stopped working on it a little bit. We'll get it finished. We'll, we'll finish her up. We'll get her done. But you can see uh, it definitely works. I haven't been around the house for very long. There's plenty here. So there's quite a bit to pick up this experience. Maybe we'll get to level 30 just punching slimes. All right, while we're punching slimes and listening to their annoying sounds, we'll, uh, I have a couple things I want to talk about. First, I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Um, that's new, brand new. It was awfully fun to make, uh, thanks to Mally and to Ghost56. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Uh, Ghost played the, the Steve character that got put into the machine, and Mally played me running out of the... running out of uh, the, the scientific chamber. <laughs> Getting, having, turned, having had a creeper and a Steve combined into become me. If you haven't seen my skin... Uh, before it's a it's a creeper in a Steve's outfit. It's got a ma I've got a mask on the Steve mask, and I wear a little Steve shirt. And uh, I'm wearing boots right now, but my skin does have the Steve shoes on. And uh, I I made the skin myself. So in case you guys are wondering, I took the creeper skin and I dropped it across the body, and I took the uh, oh another one big one's coming down. I took the, the creeper skin and I dropped it across the body of the area and then I took the Steve skin and I uh, stole the shirt from it, stuck a couple holes in the shirt, and I took the ski Steve face and put it on the, the hat spot. And it was fun to make, fun project. Um, I've been wearing it for a while, quite a while now, but uh, I'm going to stick with it. I really like it. So, yeah. 
that's cool. Fun, fun. How many slime balls did we get from that? Let's see. Over a stack. All right. So, hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you do. If you don't, let me know. Um, it was a take one type thing. I like it. Uh, I hope you guys do too. So, yeah. So, that's the first thing. First order of business today was wanted to show that to you and hopefully you guys like it. Second thing, let's see. The server competition. To join this server, Beta Earth Oak. If you want to join this server, we had a few questions. I guess I wasn't very clear and I went back and re-listened to it and I sure wasn't. Um, there are two competitions. The first is for people currently on the server. We're building houses. We're building houses in the spawn city, um, and our prize for winning that, based on your votes, so you'll vote on which house you think is the best uh, at the end of the month, and then our prize will be a zombie head if we win that, that we can use as a trophy around the world, um, and because it'll be the only one since you can't get them in survival, uh, it's I think it's a cool trophy. Uh, I'll just admin it into place so that we can use that as a trophy so uh, and then we'll start a new build competition and I hope to keep you guys involved in our builds and our spawn town competitions so that is going on the second competition this is f for you to join the server load world let's see here f3a load there we go in case you guys didn't know it's reload all chunks if you hold f3 and hit a will reload all your chunks, so neat trick. can take some time, especially if you're recording, but if you have chunks that just don't load, that will fix it. Um, I'll keep talking about that, but I want to tell you kind of what I'm doing here. These are our iron farms, and we've been working on them. Mally's starting to set up our second tower, so our second node. Um, each one of these is a cell, and together they form a node, the three cells, one underground and then the two above. And so she's starting to work on another node here. She's got them, uh, the frame set up, and so she'll fill them out and then um, put on the villager capsules and then fill them with villagers from our villager breeder cell over there. But our problem here today, we'll get talking about I can go. Our problem is that uh, this node, and each node like this, each of these doors needs to have sunlight on the outside and there's a node underground but obviously it doesn't have sunlight because it's underground so we're gonna work on getting it sunlight which means I gotta get rid of all this water so we'll do that while we're talking about the competition so the competition to join the server you have to answer the questions and I guess it wasn't clear and I, so that's my fault um, I'm gonna have in the description of this video there's a link to a form post, and that form post will be maintained by Mally. She's going to take care of that for us, um, thanks to her. And so I'll link her, you to her form post. That form post will have all the information you need to apply for the server. Uh, to apply, you'll need to answer the several questions that I asked and answered in my previous video, as well as I'll need to see some of your builds. And I say I mean um, us, the the beta earth or server members will need, want to see some of your builds that can take the form of either a video or photos and you can reply and put that directly inside of the form post the video and or the photos with your answers to the questions so that should hopefully be a little bit clearer provide you with a little bit more structure as to how to apply now it is a competition we're only going to take one to two more people onto the server uh, right now and it's a competition we will be voting the members of the server will vote on who we like based on questions answers to the questions and photos and or videos associated to those uh, we've all agreed that the people we bring onto the server doesn't necessarily need to be somebody who records we're just looking for fun people to play with if you don't record that's fine but we you know we are looking for people who are fun to have around so that's why the questions and we want to see what you can do as far as your skills in the game that's why we want either photos or video to uh, associate kind of uh, 
you know, what kind of play style you've got and what kind of stuff you build. So that's where that is. So look for that forum post uh, videos or d in the description. That's where that'll be. This needs to go over one I missed. All right. Oof. This is going to be a lot of underwater work. This is probably like super dark. You guys probably can't even see. I should have made a night vision potion. It's going to be night here. I'll tell you what. I'll go sleep since I'm the only one on the server. I'll make some night vision potions and then you guys will be able to see while I work. <laughs> and we keep talking. So I'll be back in a jiff. And awakeness. It's still night. Did somebody log in? Oh, Reggie logged in. All right. All right, not a big deal. Reg Suramar, in case you're unfamiliar with him, he is going to start recording some time lapses of his builds, which are which is really awesome. Uh, I actually have a clip I recorded earlier, uh, I think it was a couple days ago, two or three days ago, where he showed me around his place. I will include that in this episode. His place is awesome, so uh, look forward to that. That's coming up. So. All right, so let's see, we were talking about, let's see, forum post, uh, to join the server. I hope you guys, I, I know there's a lot of interest in that, so um, hopefully that'll clear up any questions you might have. If you do have any more questions about that end of things, uh, ask it in the forum post and Mally will, uh, Mally or I will uh, get back to you and answer you on the forums. So yeah, link in the description. All right, so that's good to go. Oh, I made these and then I didn't even... There we go, how's that? Is that better? I don't need a water bottle. <laughs> you, know, you can see I made, a, I made these, you know, I made, I made these potions of night visions and I wasn't even going to drink it. I was just going to let you guys stare at the dark underwater. Anyway. All right. No, 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 no. All right. Actually, this is really nice. I can just you know, stay down here for days. Goodness. I wish I had a scuba helmet, but you know, other than that, this is great. Alright, so let's see. So I don't think there's anything more to that. Um, no, I don't think so. I think that got that covered. So yeah, it's cool. This is gonna take forever, man. I hate filling in water, this is terrible. Who decided to build a cell underground? This is stupid. I did. It was me. Mally only wanted to build the two cells above the ground. I was like, no, we can fit three in a node. And she was like, I don't know. I don't want to build one underground. And I was like, no, nah, we can do it. We'll make it work. And uh, yeah. And now she's building. She's preparing that node over there. And I was like, oh, cool. Did you you know, build the frame for the one for the, the, the cell underground? And she goes, no, you have to do that. You're the one who wanted it. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have to build another underground one. Yeah, I might not get that today, but I didn't need to make sure. The, the the cell down the stairs is completely, underground here is completely done. It just needs the light to be able to function as a village so that these doors get recognized. So yeah, I think that's the right place. So I'm, I want to get that done today, so at least you can start producing more iron. We used up all the iron. I I'm sure you guys have seen my the 250 subscriber special that I put out, where I put together an entire beacon. That's a lot of, entire beacon. That's a lot, a lot of iron. So I used up our entire iron supply, and then I had to go caving so that I could have enough iron to finish the beacon. And so yeah, so we're needing to do work on this to increase the efficiency. Melly did quite a bit of work yesterday on it. Instead of us go having to go down the hole to kill all of the golems by hand, she put together a golem transportation system so that they come out over on this little island here next to their ship that we built. Uh, and they have an auto killing mechanism, which is great. It's so much easier to collect the iron from them. I really wish we had that, you know, before I put together an entire beacon. But you know, such is life. Well, that was three minutes. I should have made these long potions, shouldn't I? Oh well, I have plenty of carrots. 
We actually have quite a bit of gold too from the gold farm. AFKing at the gold farm. Yeah. Alright. Well, I have been thinking, you guys. I am having a lot, a lot of fun making these videos, and you know, I, I've been really enjoying it. I have time to make more videos, and as part of trying to make my channel here a little bit more professional, I'm going to structure my videos a little bit better. I think it's better. So I'm going to structure my videos into three series. The first will be here, the Beta Earth series, where I'll be playing you know, multiplayer, you know, I'll do some stuff by myself, like today Mally's not here, no big deal, I'll be, you know, recording, it'll just be me on the server, and we'll have that little, I'll be trying to get at least some aspect of multiplayer in every episode of Beta Earth, though, which is why I'm going to include that clip where Reg Suarmar showed me around his place, I'll include that in this episode so you guys can have that. So that's that's the goal here is to in the Beta Earth series series always include some sort of multiplayer aspect to it because it's it's a server. It's a, you know, it's a multiplayer let's play. So so that's going on. The so it's the first the first series. The second series is my Feed the Beast um single single player survival world uh, where I have very strict rules that I'm adhering my, uh, you know, tying myself down to so that the mods don't basically make it a creative mode playthrough. Uh, and I have really fun ideas as far as what I want to do for, you know, Mistcraft, Industrial Craft, and, and that kind, those kinds of, them, all the mods, what, how I want to use them, what I want to do with them. So, um, that's going on. So I'm, you know, a uh, Take a breath. Whew, okay. So that's going on. That's that's fun, I think. And you guys have really said you really enjoy that. So, uh, great. I enjoyed playing Feed the Beast. Uh, mods are a lot of fun. So we'll keep the mo all the mod stuff into uh, that Feed the Beast server and the survival uh, Let's Play-ish type stuff. And then I've got a, ser a series, and it's not really a series right now, but I'll structure it a little bit more, where I'm going to call it Mondef Replies, um, where a lot of people across other YouTubers and things, they... Oh, oh, dark. Ooh, darkness. This is a good way to keep time, too. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna suffocate. I'm gonna drown. Oof. Okay. You know they ask, hey, can you do this? Can can you know I'm looking for people to do this, do that. So I'm gonna have that won't be you know every day or you know even every necessarily every week, but uh, I'm gonna separate that into a separate show. You can create the shows on YouTube. I'll have that as a separate show where I put all of my reply videos, so that you guys can see what I'm building for other people. Uh, that's, you know, hopefully will help structure the channel a little bit better. So that'll be a separate series, its own show. Mondef replies. Yep. And that leaves me with a little bit of time. I still have some time left. Uh, just time I have left to record, edit, and upload. Not for necessarily a long series. Not like half hour shows like my Beta Ortho or my FTB series. I don't have time to upload those right now, um, just the internet time. But I do have time to upload a shorter, one or two sh more shorter series, like like the Mondef Replies type stuff, where it's, you know, anywhere from, you know, uh, f maybe five to ten minutes. And I was wondering if you or guys would be interested in um, any of these. I have three ideas, and I could do one to maybe two more of these. If you're interested in these, let me know. Um, if you're not interested, if you have other ideas for things that you would rather see me do, let me know uh, so that I can, you know, think about those. But the two, the three ideas that I had was a. Uh, oh, let me find another rack. It's my own storage room, and I always lose track of where stuff is. The first is a feed the beast tutorial series, where 
a lot of people do like mod reviews where and you can find tons of these across the web you know across YouTube and other places they basically in you know five to ten some of them are longer 30 minutes try to show you all the features of a mod you know but mod reviews give you an idea of what a mod does it doesn't show you how to use those tools and there are some you know mod tutorials out there you know that would but um, you know that'd be what I would be doing tutorials not not mod reviews where I would review so the idea would be to show you what you can do with these mods in Feed the Beast and specifically because it's Feed the Beast it's a mod pack not just one mod how they can interact with each other and the kinds of things that you can build with it and how you could do those so that would be uh, Feed the Beast tutorials so that's one idea that I had tell me what you think I think I'm out of potion I gotta go make some more potions I'll be back in a minute All right, I went ahead and placed the rest of the netherrack so we can start getting to the fun part, digging a giant hole. Oh, oh I need more. That's going to happen a lot probably while we go through the water. Let's see. Yep, I'm glad I finished. I'm glad I placed that the rest of this netherrack though before coming back. I used up three more night vision potions and I made them 8 minutes this time and I still used them up. So, yeah, that would probably would have been boring to have whole that long almost a whole episode of me placing netherrack underwater <laughs> so so yeah that's done though you don't have to worry about that uh this should go pretty quick and we won't do this the whole time either um but i do want to talk about the other two series is that uh, I'm, I'm thinking about starting and get your inputs so the first was ftb tutorials the second, ep second, ooh, hole. Second potential series to start would be a creative build. Uh, basically, building in creative mode, a let's build, more or less, focused around. Specifically, I would at least start the series with. Uh, there's a build competition I was thinking about entering. It's a month-long build competition, uh, large scale. And so they give you the terrain and they say, well, we'll build whatever you want. And that's the competition. So if I were to do that and record it, would you guys be interested in watching it? Or would that be a waste of my time? So that's that's the question with that one is, which, would you guys be interested in in seeing that? You know, Or would I be wasting my time editing it and uploading it, <laughs> making an intro and thumbnails and all the other pieces for it so um, so yeah let me know what you think about on that front and then the third series I was thinking about I, I've been requested a couple people have said hey you should start a single-player vanilla let's play and uh, if I were to do a vanilla let's play a vanilla single-player let's play because I've, I've already got beta earth oh that's you know single-player well sometimes single-player and it's vanilla. And it's my let's play. So it's a vanilla let's play already. So if I was going to do a single player vanilla let's play, why? what would make it different from me building here on Beta Earth, though? It's like, okay, you wouldn't have multiplayer elements, but I think multiplayer elements enhance the game. I don't think they take away at all from, you know, my builds. I don't, they don't take away from my builds or my play style or anything like that. They just add to it so if you were gonna if I was gonna do that and it, I already have a single player world right in, in my feed the beast server so if I was going to start a single player vanilla let's play it would have to be different uh, in some way from what I'm already doing and so the only thing I can think of is I've thought about and I had thought of this before but you know I don't I don't, I don't know I hadn't decided never decided to do it I thought about playing some challenges, single player vanilla challenges. Uh, specifically, the first challenge I would want to do would be getting every achievement in one playthrough in hardcore in hardcore. So in one life in hardcore, get every achievement in the game. So that includes uh, everything from you know going to the nether and killing the wither boss and killing the dragon collecting the egg, 
um, jumping a pig off a cliff and killing the pig but not dying. Um, there's a lot of really interesting achievements that are, are easy to do while dying, but if you're, you know, in a hardcore environment, obviously you can't die. You can die, but that's, that's the end of the playthrough. You know, so that was that was the idea was you go, okay, you play challenges in a single player vanilla world, but then it's not really building and it's just, you know, trying to survive, so you I would min max the playthrough. Minimize my risk while maximizing my output, uh, my ability to complete the challenge. Uh, this white wool here is the, the cell that's down here. So we're almost there. So, you know, I don't, I don't know that that necessarily would be, you know, it could be fun for me. It would be an interesting challenge. I'm sure I would have to play it a few times to actually complete the challenge. But, um, ooh, hole. Um, but you know, is it, would that be interesting to you guys? Do you think that would be uh, something fun to do? To watch and to to hang out. If it's not worth your time to watch, you know it, it might still be m worth my time to play. But it might if, if you guys aren't interested in watching it, I'm not going to take the time to upload it. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. <laughs> I may still do these things on my own, but I might not. I just might not be uploading them. So um, let me know. I, I really only have time as far as just editing and uploading to edit and upload. Really, two of those. And they would be, again, short, you know, between 5 and 10 minute videos. I wouldn't be doing full 30 minute episodes. Even if I did the challenge playthrough, I would not be doing 30 minute episodes. They would be shorter episodes. Which is fine, because I wouldn't be building like I do in Beta Eartho and like I do on my FTB. So this is the bottom cell. Uh, obviously I came down one of these, but... Uh, I'll have to do the other three, and I'll do those off-camera digging. I know like that, you guys just love watching digging, diggy, diggy, diggy hole. Uh, this is the bottom. I'm sure you've seen this design before. This is Doc M 77s Iron Golem cell design. I think he developed it with uh, the jail zip code. I'll, I'll show you what we came up with as far as for the collection points. Ooh, no, Iron Golem just came through. So they fall through. Uh, all three cells, all, every, all three cells in this node fall through to here, and they get pushed away. Technically, while the iron golem is here, th this bottom cell is less efficient, but they get pushed out of the range pretty quickly. You can see this guy's, you know, cooking it. It's a little bit dark back there. Don't want spider spawning. And they get pushed. And they get pushed by the water. You can see right here, they get to this point. Well, they're wider than people are, so when you when they get to here, they get picked up by this next stream. Rather than where if I don't push anything, I guess I'll stop. They don't stop. So then they go, and then you can see here, they get pushed up the staircase, and then they get pushed. They're getting held against the wall. That actually helps them push each other if there's two here. They help push each other up the stairs, they'll go faster. And then they go around the corner, and then they go up here. So I'll just show you the next corner. I'll pu push this iron comb a little bit. Um, you have the sign here, that helps the water streams maintain the right shape. Otherwise, you get this one going straight into the wall and they get stuck. But Mally did all this. I was editing and uploading a different video <laughs> while she was working. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's it works really well. We're making them go up because we need them to... We want them at the surface. We don't want to have to come down a giant hole and go up a giant hole just when we want iron golems. So I'm just going to push him a little bit. Mostly just because I can't get around him. Oh, nope. Try to ender pearl past them and hit him with the ender pearl instead. Come on, there we go. It's pretty long, <laughs> you can see, as I'm sure you can tell already. There we go. That's the out right there, the white wool. So I'll show you the top. It's right now. It needs to be polished. We might have to do some terraforming to make it, you know, really look nice. Look like it's, you know, just this is where it spat him out, and we're like, yeah, okay, drop him in there. So yeah, we've got a couple. Let's see how many abouts are in there. I have three. Entity counts. 37, 38. So, yeah, not too shabby. Mally hooked up this lever. They're a bit loud. They're, they're a bit noisy. Uh, we don't have a weakener. 
in place yet, so they're full health. So they take a little while to suffocate to death. One got out. What? No. No. Loud. They're a bit noisy. You're not supposed to be. Oh, oh. He submarined it. Let's get to see if we can kill him. I don't know how he got out. That's weird. Oh, I know how he got out. We're going to have to fix that. I'll show you how he got out. You know what? He can... No, he can't live. He could affect the efficiency of the... Oh, no. He's far enough away being on this island, but we'll kill him anyway. Now that he's on land, he's easier to kill. There we go. Okay. I'm sure all these guys are dead. So while these guys are suffocating, the one guy we were coming up with that we interpoled past, he came out and he was like, oh, look, floor. And he just walks off. We can fix that just by having a hooking up a second piston here that blocks so that no more of these guys can get in here. But let me grab my goodies before that guy gets in my way. I just under the wrong way. Let's go that way. Let's see, how many do we get? Ooh, a little over two stacks. Not too shabby. You know, I, I, Mally was here earlier, so I'm sure they were they're stacking up. But the great part is these ender, you know, ender. Iron golems don't despawn. So as we're around here working, you know, work in the storage area, do some work on the farms, or, you know, go work on a village area, whatever we're doing in here, they're stacking up. Free iron, never have to go iron farming again. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. We're going to build a couple more nodes. You can see Mally's got that one going up. We're going to build a node over here as well. That'll go up. And we'll have the, we'll make sure that the, I finish digging those holes so that bottom cell of the, that node gets finished. <laughs> if you're logged in. I'm going to finish digging those down before the villagers get all greedy and out of whack, so uh, I'll get finishing that, and while I do that, why don't you guys go ahead and watch uh, that th th when I went to Reggie's place. And uh, I'll catch up to you when you're done with that and I'm done with this. See ya on the other side. Hey guys, hey guys. I'm at I'm the at KFC. KFC. I'm mm -hmm. here with Melatrix Mel and yeah. Reg, Reg Suramar. And we're going to go take a quick look at Reg's Reg base. base. Um, I've shown show off his uh, KFC, KFC entrance before, which I love. Hello, zombie. And, you know, the withers that don't we don't feed. feed. And uh, <laughs> let's get a head on towards his base. I know, I know it's a little, little bit of a minecart ride, so I'll catch up with you guys, guys once we get there. I put down the minecart before the button deactivated. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have to push the button and I almost missed my cart. You know, if I don't get out of we're just going to bounce back. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. I got my sword ready. I'll <laughs> so many people. Ah. <laughs> or if you don't, I want to. Okay. So, so you got some really nice boy. No, oh, there, let it dart. Uh, one of those tree huggers. We're in a tree hugger base. Tree, tree hugger nest. <laughs> So, now we're eating cough drops. Um, um, world's uh, got, got giant, giant holes in it. I'm just kidding. So you're in the jungle. Uh, Are you on an island? No, this is a uh, main man. Main man. Okay. Yeah. I've done a pretty a good job lighting there. the caves. What was that? You've, You've done, done a pretty decent job lighting, lighting the caves down there. I've been caving for hours down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll show us around. Uh, all right. Are you recording currently? Yep. yep. Oh, no. Um, so pretty much all of these buildings are fairly pointless so far. This was supposed to be my bedroom. Um, I have since destroyed my bed and taken it to my sp uh, spider spawner over in that direction. Oh, nice. We'll have to look at that for sure. Oh, my god, my god, my god. Oh, there's an enderman inside. Griefer man. I'm just a simple jungle man. 
He did. Goodness. Okay. I can always just go to FTB and use the saber. Yeah. yeah. And this is, uh, this is the first thing I established. It was a actually naturally spawning jungle, whatever these are called. Jungle places. places. And I have since made my mines down in, oh, 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 in that direction. Uh, it's just still my mines. Nice. Uh, that's where I found the caves as well. Uh, oh, hey, oh, hey, I found, I found some, some mossy cobblestone, cobblestone to take home. No. That. Uh -uh. Why'd you hit me? <laughs> How rude. Um, and if you come up I'm gonna go way, start a forest fire now. No, the fire spins off. <laughs> um, fix that and this is my beacon. And beacon. I, put, I put an ether pole in it. For, uh, yeah, but you can barely see You can only see it like when it rotates. Good story uh, about this beacon. <laughs> They are from Mally's Wither skeleton heads that she yeah, gave me. I heard you stole a beacon luck. from us. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is my little barn. You can this is nice. Uh, this is really there's cool. actually a sign. There's oh, actually oh, a sign. I just lagged right off the edge of that. <laughs> Video there's, a sign. there's a sign in the beacon room that says to the farms. And, and in this direction, you will find. Can I harvest the pumpkins? And I will publish the rounds. This design is from uh, Zasuma. This is Zasuma Void from Hermitcraft. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. I guess I've seen it. It looks different, different in Jungle Wood, but. but. Yeah, it's it's the same design. Um, Here I need to make uh, Kyle Jaws. Uh, <laughs> just, just take, take a melon shower. shower. Oh, oh no. and then you need to throw it over the side and just forget about it. <laughs> I'm not talking about. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Draco runs for the melons. Draco's gonna starve. He's the melons. Oh. He needs a pity potato. Pity potato. No! My taters! I have an endless supply. So, I have some melons now. Now I can actually eat. Um, and, and so those are my two farms currently. I will have a uh, potato farm and wheat and carrot farm in that direction, so I'm over there. And then cactus and reeds, sugarcane, I mean, and um, cocoa beans in that direction. Nice. Over there. Um, I think that's about all the farmable items. Um, th up this way would be my um, storage uh, furnaces, enchanting table, alchemy, etc. Those sort of uh, essentials, I guess. Cool. Um, Nothing out here yet. Nope, I've built these platforms from these leaves and I've put trees down in this area so they'll be fairly even. But, um, that's pretty much the extent. I don't know, something. <laughs> no. That's about the extent of my base. Um, what else? Well, I fell. Well, you said you have a spider, spider, spider spawner system? system? I do. It is not uh, fully operational yet, but we can head over that way. Probably should have brought my very long boots, but oh well. <laughs> um, do you want to pause recording and then we'll continue to get there? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll catch, catch up, up. Uh, uh, at the spider corner. Alright. Leaks, I'll save you. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, thanks. thanks. Uh, I mean, well, I'm not a creeper. creeper. <laughs> but you look like a creeper. <laughs> I'm a I'm Steve, Steve, I promise. So, right down here? Um, it's somewhat operational. I haven't set up the redstone with the crash or anything yet. Um, Mickey helped me set up the water streams because I'm absolutely horrible at mob systems. Um, let's just uh, close off so I can kill them and they won't run away or fall back down. How many spawners are there here? Three. 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 That's awesome. No, they're all. I think they're all um, lit with, with uh, redstone red lamps. Yeah. They're there's just not the wiring. I haven't tied together yet. Yeah. One, two, and then the third one is this other building. This area. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. A little bit the same way, it just hasn't been wired yet. Yeah. yeah. Um, we can crack them open. And, and then they'll come here. here. 
Yeah, exactly. and then they, they all collect. This one comes that way and goes under. And then over and then across. And, up, yeah. and then these two um, collect from the left side of each one. Very nice. So it collects from here and. Um, and then from here. 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 And then they fall into there. Yeah. Uh, nice. nice. That looks good. good. Should, Should work, work pretty well. Yeah. It's quicker than getting to the enemy farm. Probably not as much XP, but yeah. Yeah, having a nearby experience system, system can be advantageous. Yeah, can take time to get out and back. Oh, Mally's engaged a bit. <laughs> Mally wants to see the spiders. 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 They're just so cuddly. Oh, definitely. We have difficulty uh, trying to climb up, so I'm going to figure out something else too. Because they only have one wall to climb up, and that's this one. Yeah. yeah. If everyone stood, stood on our side, it would actually come up. They should, anyway. Because they should track, track us up so. here. Yeah. And then close that off now. Come up. Yeah, yeah, you have, have to play, play with that little space, space down though. there. Yeah. I'll probably, uh, have them come this way a little bit and then raise it up. Yeah. yeah. They'll have three walls to climb. I don't know. We'll and see. then help them. They'll also push, push each other up. Yeah. <gasps> oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> 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 that's, that's kind of funny, actually. Wow. One shot KO. Well, with that, with that in mind, <laughs> um, we'll get back to uh, whatever we were doing earlier and uh, back to work. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been murdered. Thanks for showing us around. You. Yep. One will keep your items hostage. For sure. for sure. Welcome back, guys. I just finished up the last of these four. I hope you guys enjoyed Red Sewer Mars Base. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, what a kind of a neat jungle build he's got going on there. It's just. Uh, I can't believe it. It's actually his second base on the server. He moved because he wasn't happy with what he was doing with the first. He said he might go back and finish it sometime, but uh, he basically started over. And uh, that's what he came up with. It just looks it looks so cool. It's such a neat kind of a wild look. So I'm just doing another harvest. These guys should be done soon. There we go. To dupe. And I wanted to see how much. Ten. We got 10 roses. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you next time.